What news, Kate Walker? Hmm. Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. This ride is the only way I found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you girls? I learned that the subway is safe. No radiation. I mean, free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. Once we've left Baranur, what is the next step? The river Balaton. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. Any news from the Yukels who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. Kate Walker? Hello, Kate Walker. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's no more train, Oscar. And there's no more Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. And it seems to have worked. It's good to see you again, Oscar. Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar. I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. I'm accompanying the Yukels on their voyage. You know they found me when I was dying next to a river in the west of Siberia and took me in. They are accompanying the migration of the snow ostriches to their sacred lands, where they go and reproduce. Now we're being chased by fanatical soldiers who want to send the Yukels back to where they came from. To top it off, they want to hand me over to the American authorities. I've been accused of all sorts of crimes. 
The Yukols, a primitive nomadic people in the far north that live symbiotically with large herds of Struthio nivis, commonly known as snow ostriches. That about sums it up. Kate Walker, American deviant, intellectually and politically unstable, influenced by both circumstance and encounters, despite possessing an unquestionable moral fiber. Uh, I suppose that's about right, in a word. Well, how may I be of service to you, Kate Walker? We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker, my clothes. I don't have any clothes. Come on, what's the problem, Oscar? In New York, I saw fashion shows where you would have made a splash. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Voral Burr productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please! Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right. I'll get you some clothes. How charming. I cannot, my sweet Jenny. Our love is impossible. Oh, Piotr, why? Why is life so determined to keep us apart? Life is not to blame, my dove. It's our Ooh. families. What is going on here? Ah, very, very sad story, Miss Ketwalk. Piotr and Jenya smooch smooch love, but families promise Tatiana and Yuri get money from stores of their old great-uncle Joseph. Do you really think this is the time to be watching sappy soap operas? We need to have the entranceway clear before Olga and the Colonel get here. Tsa, tsa. You calls go back and dick. There's nothing we can do, my sweet Jenya. We'll just have to accept our fate and try to live virtuous lives. We don't have to give in. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe if something happened to Tatiana and Yuri, an accident at the plant, for example. Genia, you can't be thinking. Katerina? Ah, you again. Here's your key. Thank you again. Hmm, what do you need? Clothes. For Oscar, my automaton friend. Huh? Well, for an automaton, he's a real prude. Your story isn't real clear to me. Anyway... Take a look over there, in the wardrobe mixed up with Andre's things. This is for opening it with. But don't take more than you need, got it? I'm still attached to that stuff. They're souvenirs. Let's try something else. Kate Walker. I told you I was coming, Oscar. Well, I guess you got tired of waiting for me. 
The sooner I am decently attired, the better I will feel. While I was coming to join you, I came across a gang of hairy and very rude small folk. I will spare you the jibes to which I was subjected. Don't short-circuit on me. Here, take a look at this wardrobe. These clothes in here should fit you. How is my appearance, Kate Walker? Very becoming, Oscar. Perfect. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now please, tell me more about the vehicle that you would like me to drive. It's stranded on the pier next to our boat, the Crystal. Well, in that case, I would like to suggest that we meet there, Kate Walker. Great. See you later, Oscar. Try believe here quickly. Many bad men may soon arrive. Shamans say not be afraid of bad spirits. Ah, Kate Walker. What do you expect me to do then? I'm going to need you to use this vehicle to lift the crystal onto the beach. Do you think you can do it? You will remember that I was the driver on the Vorlberg train, Kate Walker. Driving this tractor is not something I will find difficult. I will just need some help to complete this mission. What do you need? First of all, you must connect the crystal to the tractor. Okay, Oscar. And then what? Well, that is all, in fact. As this tractor is actually still under electrical power despite the regrettably obvious lack of upkeep it has received in this abandoned area. To be honest, Oscar, I'm the one who restored power to the park. Oh. What excellent initiative. A true testament to your spirit of enterprise, Kate Walker. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Miss Kate Walk. I need you to take that cable next to you and attach it to the tractor over there, please. Za, za, roo. Thank you. Yes, Kate Walker? Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. Oscar. We're only driving the crystal into the sand. That is indeed annoying. The traction that this machine exerts is far too horizontal. It would be preferable to hoist the boat from a higher position. The cable would be at an angle, and your boat would move forward and be raised at the same time. Brilliant analysis of the situation, my dear Oscar. Uh, is there something else? Not exactly, Kate Walker. But you may at some point find you need to see further along the pier. 
Can you put some slack in the cable so I can move the tractor over there? Yes, Kate Walker? Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. Can you take the cable attached to the tractor there and attach it to the Ferris wheel, please? Duke. Okay, Duke. Roar. I'm on the right track, but the mechanism still needs some reinforcement. I guess. Congratulations, Kate Walker. Thanks to you, the migration can get underway again. Thank you, Kirk. But without the tribe's help, I never could have... Beak Nanook Metal! Uh, good day. Dudukanox! Duk Duk! Kapotak Tok Metal Beak Nok Nanook? Lian Musu Oscar! Beak Esperitulu Kulet? Esperitulu Luk?
What did you say to them? That handsome metal man is not a monster. <laughs> not dangerous. Handsome metal man? Tell me, Ayahuasca. You seem pretty impressed with dear old Oscar. Psst. Purely spiritual interest. But tribal need much time to get used to him. Better for everybody he'd travel in shaman's yurt. He'll be delighted. In the meantime, I'll try to get the ostriches out. You get everybody ready to leave. Madam, as I told you, I'm actually perfectly capable of following your caravan on foot. Shaman's yurt, very comfortable. Big handsome metal man must rest after everything he has done for tribe. <laughs> oh, but, Madam, please, I... Their boat is right there. <laughs> 